Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are taking legal action once again, this time to protect their young son. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have filed an invasion of privacy complaint over alleged photos taken of one-year-old Archie in their backyard, Access Hollywood confirms. According to court documents filed Thursday in Los Angeles County Superior Court and obtained by Access, Meghan and Harry claim that drones have flown within 20 feet of their home up to three times a day in attempt to capture illegal images of them and their toddler. Additionally, alleging that helicopters have hovered over the property as early as 5.30 a.m., waking Archie and their neighbors. Attorney Michael Kump issued a statement on behalf of the former senior royals explaining their decision to sue, saying, quote, Every individual and family member in California is guaranteed by law the right to privacy in their home. No drones, helicopters, or telephoto lenses can take away that right. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are filing this lawsuit to protect their young son's right to privacy in their home without intrusion by photographers and to uncover and stop those who seek to profit from these illegal actions. The lawsuit claims photos of Archie have been falsely labeled as being taken in Malibu, which Harry and Meghan deny, and say they believe the location is misrepresented because it is against California law to photograph a child in their home without consent. In addition, the suit states that Meghan and Harry relocated to a gated community in Los Angeles thanks to the generosity of a friend. Oprah Winfrey is believed to have helped the couple secure Tyler Perry's $18 million Beverly Hills compound. The documents note that the couple does not know the identities of the alleged photographers and are therefore filing against unnamed defendants, all referred to as John Doe. Megan previously filed a lawsuit against Associated Newspapers for running excerpts of a private letter she wrote to her estranged father, Thomas Markle, in the months following her and Harry's 2018 wedding. Mail on Sunday reportedly claims Thomas revealed the letter's contents to the outlet upon learning People magazine was made aware of it. The former suit star and her husband arrived in Southern California after a brief stay in Canada following their decision to step away from the British monarchy and split their time between the UK and the States. As if that weren't challenging enough, royal expert Melanie Bromley told Access Hollywood earlier this year why COVID-19 restrictions may have made an already difficult transition from royal life in Britain to civilian life across the pond even harder for Harry. There's a rumor out there that Harry really misses England and being in the military. Is this true or false? You have to bear in mind that because we've gone through a global pandemic at the moment, this global crisis, there is nothing that can make you feel further from home than something like that. Harry and Meghan definitely have changed their roles within the royal family. They've stepped back from royal duties and are living a more independent life. But Los Angeles is a long way away from London and no matter what's happened in your past, it can make you feel very, very isolated at a time like this. You know, we know that we see it with celebrities, we see it with royals, that they're spending a lot of time, time as families. And for Harry and Meghan, I'm sure that they're obviously in Los Angeles and near Meghan's mum, but being away from the family that he has grown up with and been very, very close to and always come together in times of crisis, it must be very, very difficult for him right now.